This marked another day of mixed emotions, one of hope and heartbreak for hundreds of people who tried to get in to see their property for the very first time. Most areas open between 10 in the morning and 5 this evening for people to go back to their neighborhoods and find out what was left. 10 News reporter Michael Crow joined a family today who went to see with their own eyes if their home was still standing. Michael. Guys, a bittersweet day for a lot of people and a day with finally some answers after this tragedy. You know, this is the access point right here behind me where people were allowed through if they lived in that area. They had to prove that, of course. It is closed now after 5 o'clock, but a lot of people finally got in there to see if their homes had survived. The line of cars stretched more than a mile. But still, the wait felt short by comparison for those that haven't seen their homes since Monday's wildfires. Among them, the Gorman family, who lives on Ski Mountain. We had heard from the National Guard was most of Ski Mountain was devastated. They knew their house survived, but their dog and cat have been stranded there since. I just want to get to my babies. Driving through Gatlinburg, the scope of the devastation sets in. Oh my goodness, this is awful. Passing burnt buildings and scorched earth, on a drive that used to feel so familiar. That's awful. People are going through their stuff. But while the landscape has changed with the fire, one thing remains the same. No matter how long the wait, a dog is always happy when their family comes home. Miss Lulu! Miss Lulu! Oh! It's okay! Oh. But for others, the homecoming was more bittersweet. There's no amount of money in the world that can replace some of this stuff. Joel Poole's home on Baskins Creek Road is now just cinders. But sifting through the wreckage, he still finds peace. You know, it's closure. It's closure. <laughs> I mean, you know, I know there's nothing left, so I can move on. Because in this mess, that's not the only thing he discovered. I found my wife's wedding ring. Oh, my goodness. Win-win. <laughs> a small silver or gold lining on one of Gatlinburg's darkest days. Because no matter what these families return to, they are still being made whole at the same time. She has tears in her eyes. It's okay. And again, this is the first time a lot of these families are getting past these barricades to take a look at what happened as these fires tore through these communities. And note, there are still several that are closed, some of the hardest hit areas up in the Chalet Village, especially we drove up past that. There are roadblocks in place. Authorities say they hope to open those at a later date. For now, guys, we will send it back to you.